Hi, so today on Earthology's Top Tips, we are talking to Zoe at Inabame Eco, uh, and this is our final uh, set of tips today, uh, and we're going to be talking all about the coffee cup. A simple thing, but will definitely help in going back to work and making life a little bit more eco-friendly. So, Zoe, Hi. tell us more. Hi, Sarah. So, yes, we are uh, a nation of uh, coffee addicts. I love it. Everybody loves it. Worldwide, uh, would you believe we drink 1.6 billion cups of coffee every single day? Wow. Yeah, uh, we love that stuff. But hey, that's good. So you would think, okay, take away coffee cups, they're made from paper. So surely what's the problem, right? They can be recycled. Sadly not. They are actually lined with plastic to keep your coffee from leaking. So that actually makes it almost impossible to recycle. So only one in 400 of those coffee cups are being recycled. Everything else uh, lands in, wow. um, well, it's actually incinerated or ends in the landfill. So not the, not the greatest um, fact, unfortunately, but we need to do something about it. Um, there's a solution, obviously, uh, the compostable coffee cups. We are hearing a lot about them. They are fantastic. Uh, so the lining, the, the internal lining uh, of the uh, coffee cup is made from renewable materials. They can be composted after use, fantastic. However, it's not the perfect solution because they need to be composted in an industrial compost. And unfortunately, um, not every office, not every household, and um, you know, the Dublin city, for example, we don't have the industrial compost bins everywhere around us. And when these guys end up in the normal general waste bin, they will behave exactly the same as your usual plastic coffee cup. So the solution is what? Bring your own. Bring your own coffee cup. Uh, bring it to work. Uh, have it at your desk. Bring it in your bag. There's so many different solutions, beautiful designs, um, such as, for example, stainless steel coffee cup. It is um, double, double lined stainless steel, so it's actually insulated. It keeps it extremely hot. I burned myself a couple of times when I was using it, so careful. Um, they come in a variety of shapes and colors and designs. Wow. They can be branded as well. The stainless steel ones, uh, so they are insulated, they will keep your drink hot for hours and uh, they're extremely eco-friendly. Then we also have our bamboo coffee cups, very, very light um, with silicone sleeve, silicone lid, you know, easy to carry it around and again, extremely eco-friendly. These come in a variety of shapes and sizes and colors can be branded with your company logo as well. And finally, voila, we have our silicon coffee cup. So um, these are very user friendly because they can be folded when they're done. So your bag will not be too full. So a great product, I think. Yeah, that's brilliant. So I suppose that means that you can bring your coffee, you know, go and get your coffee, um, I've seen Cloud Picker and a few other coffee shops uh, show videos. So if, um, yeah, I don't know about you, but like if your local coffee shop is refusing to take reusables, because I know I've seen a few people at the moment, it's not rocket science. There's actually a video, I believe, uh, on Cloud Picker about how to do it. It's, it's really not rocket science. Um, and then you can just squash it down, take it home, clean it for the next day. That's brilliant. Absolutely. Because, you know, we... Um, use uh well we drink so much coffee um and because of the pandemic this should not be the reason to go back to our bad habits you know there's always a solution my motto is there's always three three solutions to every problem so you know why not something like this absolutely and i think you know if, if it's not um you know one of your cups there's also you know a lot of the cafes that are doing the conscious uh, cup campaign um or to go cup or recup where you bring back the dirty one you just put it in a bin they clean them and then you get a fresh one every time so it's like a almost like a deposit and return scheme i suppose which i think is um you know again it's not rocket science is it we just need to 
try and mm. cut down on the amount of disposables because the stuff just doesn't end up in the right place in the recycling anyway. So, um, and, and, and in terms of um, the health in the office as well, I suppose you can just go to the coffee machine with your refillable cup. There's no need then for everybody to be going in and out of the cupboard for um, uh, the, the, the cups and things. Um, have you seen anything around surrounding that in terms of offices and what they're planning to do? Yes, a lot of offices will actually be removing um, all of the, you know, the communal items. So coffee cups will probably be on that list as well. So it's probably even more important just, you know, to, ha to have your own and to protect yourself and to protect others as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and it's a simple thing that everybody, everybody can do. Um, and I suppose, you know, certainly they can if they want to know more, I can look up Conscious Cup campaign, all those kind of things, um, or even real refill for the for the water as well. Um, mm -hmm. So thanks for that. That's absolutely brilliant. Some great tips and some amazing looking water bottles. Let me just say, so I'm quite jealous. I have already got enough. So, <laughs> and I do have my cup, uh, my coffee cup that my husband got me for uh, Christmas. So um, yeah, but yeah, otherwise you end up stockpiling too many. But they are beautiful. So thank you very much, and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Great. Thanks so much. Okay. Bye.